hello viewers uh, in this video i will show you how you can get uh, historical and future climate data so you just need to go w o r l d c l i m or climb just go to this website and you can you can see here maps graphs tables and data of the global climate and click on download and you will uh, see this interface global climate and weather data um, all climate is a database of high spatial resolution global weather and climate data this data can be used for mapping and spatial modeling and in research and related activities and some specialist skill and knowledge you can use this data you can see here historical climate data historical monthly weather data future climate data so if you go to historical climate data you can see here this climate data is uh, historical climate data is from 1970 to 2000 and this version has been published in 2020 and you will find climate data of minimum mean and maximum temperature precipitation solar radiation wind speed water vapor pressure and total precipitation and so many things and you can download this data in a several resolution uh, i mean 30 second arc and uh, you will find several types of data like minimum temperature maximum average precipitation solar radiation wind speed water vapor pressure and in several resolution the high resolution is uh, 30 second and also bioclimatic variable elevation and if you use this data for your research or any purposes you can cite uh, you can use this reference number for citation purposes so uh, now uh, i will go to historical monthly weather data for in historical monthly weather data you will find uh, various historical data of like 1960 to 2018 the variables uh, available are average minimum temperature uh, average maximum temperature and total precipitations millimeter in millimeter and you will find the data from uh, 1960 to 2018 and also you will get uh, from this website future climate data uh, this data available here are cmip6 down scaled future climate projections data and monthly values of minimum temperature maximum temperature and precipitations uh, were processed for 23 global climate models and also this data uh, projections are from uh, 20 years period so i have downloaded uh, this precipitation data and uh, uh, average temperature data now i will show you how you can uh, process this data using uh, arcgis and 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 uh, excel i have added precipitation data here all data you can work uh, with precipitation or uh, temperature or wind speed or any climate data that are available in this website also i have added here uh, climate stations for my project area or for my study area here is the climate station according to uh, climate station i will extract uh, temperature data and uh, we'll show you how you can uh, represent this in uh, using uh, uh, arcgis now i will uh, add uh, admin boundary of bangladesh make it hollow so that you can uh, see clearly and uh, i will uh, extract data from the um, uh, uh, and, for, and go to sample and just add all the all the uh, image yeah. I'm adding all the image file I mean tiff file I'm doing this uh, just for extracting data from the TIFF file. 
temperature data and here input location the rust tower point feature will be climate station for your project area i've added climate station and click ok and the uh, climate data has been extracted uh, from the tip file you can see here the climate data or uh, various temperature data and uh, now i will uh, uh transfer this data into uh, excel for this go to conversion tools and excel and a table to excel and input table will be that i extracted just uh, sample tif to in this in this name and output excel file uh, save your output excel file in a folder where you want and i'm going to rename it as temperature bd and just okay it is in process and it has done so go to the folder and you can see here uh, it has been extracted in excel file now i'll process it and later i will uh, represent this data in uh, arcgis reduce the fraction number after uh, point and reduce uh, the name the average temperature and uh, i will i'll perform average uh, average temperature from the whole data I'm going to rename this average temperature and you will get the whole average temperature data for all stations. And uh, I will just keep our coordinate FID climate station and uh, the final data. Uh, I mean uh, average temperature that I have analyzed from all the data just copy average temperature data I mean from here uh, you just have to take uh, temperature average temperature data I mean, the, I mean the final data coordinate climate station and uh, object idea I mean FID and uh, after uh, after after processing anyway i'm writing if id and uh, after processing just save this data as save as type will be csv comma delimited and then save and then add this excel file And then uh, in climate station file just join our relates and then uh, choose the table to join the layer it will be the processed excel file and choose the field in this layer that you join uh, will be based on FID and then ok and after that uh, if you see in the table then you will uh, see the uh, average temperature has been added and then go to special uh, analyze tools and then uh, interpolation and then idw and input point feature it will be climate station and date value field then it will be uh, that average temperature 
and uh, output raster and then uh, if go to environment and uh, processing extent processing extent will be uh, district boundary and raster analysis uh, mask data will be the district boundary and then click ok ok you can see the interpolation has done using idw method and uh, uh, tip file this tip file i don't need i'm just deleting this file now i will uh, make map layout right click and then go to properties and uh, symbology and from symbology you can increase or decrease the class size and uh, right click on level and you can decrease the fraction number format level from format level uh, then four and you can also uh, change the color you will find here lots of colors uh, i've selected this one and then click ok rename it average temperature full extent and then uh, from insert trading title average temperature bangladesh and uh, not the arrow i have selected this one mainly this is the process uh, you can uh, you can follow this process legend and then scale scale bar you can select any scale bar from here then go to properties and you need uh, selected kilometers and level position you can select any i have selected below center and then okay scale spin down north arrow legend uh, title all has been done and now uh, grid go to properties and for grid go to grids and then new grid next uh, i think uh, appearances will be levels only and next uh, next and then go to properties and uh, levels axis levels level annotation left and right and okay okay it's done finally and from file uh, export map file name and then save and here is our final output and the final map